Assalamualaikum So sekarang ni kan tengah hot issue pasal GISB kan So story time Back in I think 11 to 12 years ago uh, Before I had my child And before I kahwin kot I active dalam Macam Mencari Or Involve myself in helping rumah Anak yatim dan golongan Asnaf tau So I went around in Selangor lah uh, To you know Visit all these orphanages And then help them With um, macam donations And bagi baju All those things lah So it was just a personal project tau It was just something for me I macam Okay let me get to know all these places So that I know how to help them And then I remember I Told this ustad about this project lah Of mine I was I don't remember why But tu lah Allah Buka ke hati I kot Dia I told this ustad about This project Dia tanya I You dah check ke belum rumah ni And I was like Check And then dia cakap Ke I about all this Al Arkam Tau So naturally I was curious And I went To google about it lah And then I went down the rabbit hole and I found this whole cult la. Most of my information were from Facebook. So back then the punya Facebook was the you know the it place for news and stuff. So I went and looked there was a list of, of all this rumah anak yatim dan asnaf ni yang involved in Al Arkam. And most of them yang I pernah pergi sendiri were in that list. So naturally I was upset Macam what? Because kita orang ni when we I mean I'm sure semua orang yang Baik hati muni kita orang dengan Ikhlasnya pergi dekat rumah Anak yatim dan golongan asnaf ni With the intention to help Of course kita donate semua ni From our own Sweat and tears you know And to find that these Houses are involved In this cult really hurts me For your information, what this cult does, seingat I lah. Dia orang ada this bapak tau. I tak ingat apa nama bapak tu. So, si bapak ni, dia akan kahwin, cerai, kahwin, cerai. Kan kahwin, kau tampai. So, dia kahwin, cerai, kahwin, cerai, kahwin, cerai. Bila perempuan tu tengah pregnant ke apa, dia cerai kan. Dan dia kahwin lain, dia pregnant kan. Orang lain dia pregnant kan. Itu je dia punya kerja tau. Lepas tu kan, dia macam... As if dia ni ustaz or something tau As if dia ni ada macam some kind of Super power ke apa I tak ingat tau Tapi dia macam tu tau Dia punya orang, dia punya bapa dia tu Macam ada some kind of uh, Apa Mujizat yang dia orang sangat-sangat Sayangkan tau And then kan This The children that they have Dia orang akan letak, letak dalam this orphanage Rumah anak yatim dan asnaf ni And it's actually their children tau Granted, I know some of them are Macam truly memang anak yatim Truly memang an, apa, Dari golongan asnaf Memang true Tapi Some of them also are Their own children tau Dan mereka letak situ And then mereka harapkan Orang punya donation Untuk Mereka punya livelihood tau Yang saya macam Pedih tu kan Because mereka ni nampak macam baik tau You know I mean Dengan kopiahnya Dengan tudungnya Dengan Well, they are well-mannered people lah kan tapi di sebalik tu they were under this whole cult and I'm not blaming the children at all I'm not blaming the women also because I think kan diorang ni they grew up in that environment they were brainwashed enough diorang tak keluar daripada their system tau they I don't think they even went to school because they were homeschooled by their ustaz ustazah ni semua tau so bila fikir about it kan Actually kan This cult exists Because of what tau Because diorang ni The, the bapa ni Sebenarnya dia gila Stau Dia gila And dia So Dia lepaskan Dia pun, dia nak lepaskan Dia punya nafsu ni Under pretense of agama Tapi yang Sick tu kan Dia ajar The kids To do the same I remember I the sekolah Alakam ni dekat Sungai Pecala I tak ingat dia caught fire ke Ataupun tanah runtuh I don't remember And I was thinking Alhamdulillah Because I hope it was a stepping stone Towards an investigation tau Instead What happened was 
The community ni Malaysians ni baik Community semua tolong You know Tolong Build back the school Because You know Mana dia nak Suspect benda-benda ni Lagipun when you see Your neighbors In trouble You would help kan So I I Didn't want to Talk about it Or even You know macam Come up with it Back then Because The, the highest level That I got Was suspicion je I didn't have any hard evidence I didn't have any Backup Or you know I don't have any Solid Reason To Expose them I Knew that they had A very strong Macam Backup So I tak tahu What to do after that And then Lagi pun I dah kahwin Ada anak semua tu And then it's all Macam left behind But since then If there was any project that involves anak yatim dan golongan asnaf, I would always research first before I na, you know, commit to it or even involve in it, participate in it. And now this happens kan, rasa macam kesian the children satu. And at the same time, I rasa Alhamdulillah, let's end this cult once and for all. And since... It's already been over 11, 12 years. I don't know how long. I bet it was longer than that since I got my information on Facebook. It must have been longer lah kan. So now, hopefully, dapat lah, you know, the bapa ni kan, all the bapa-bapa, entah apa ni. And I hope that the children are free from this brainwash. So that's all my story time and I... Honestly, I just regret na sikit kan Sebab I knew but I didn't Follow through But You know, Alhamdulillah now People are Apa Aware of it And hopefully we can End this once and for all Save the children Save the future generations And you know The rumah anak yatim Dan golongan asnaf ni Tak Exploited The way This Al-Arkham has been exploiting Insyaallah